you guys went from fifth to to ten or to ninth. You finished ninth overall. But did it matter on an individual standpoint since you were able to win the school school of the year? I mean, look at that beautiful trophy. Yeah, uh, you know the biggest goal throughout this whole week was to win school of the year. And obviously, any tournament you fish, you want to win the tournament. And uh, we went out in fifth place this morning, and we went out in full intention of winning this tournament. Uh, but we did our job. Uh, winning school of the year so we did all we could do we went out we caught every fish that we could so to answer your question really there's no disappointment at all uh from me or blake from getting ninth even though we dropped four places uh we had a very consistent day today compared to yesterday and uh no disappointment at all we won school of the year and that was the number one goal for the day because i don't know who did it i'll stick with you uh trevor who who caught that fish in the final five minutes and take me through it Blake, I don't know if he was sleeping or what, but uh, this morning he had a little slow start, but he caught that fish in the last five minutes that uh, it propelled us to uh, – it probably shot us up ten places. And uh, I don't know, Blake, I don't know what he did. He pulled something out of his butt, I guess, because he caught that fish and, uh, yeah, what the hell was that, Blake? Yeah, it was, it was one of those things. It, it, it was a slow start. Uh it was totally opposite. We had a big bat, big fish in, in each, each of our bags each day. I caught the big one yesterday. I caught a lot early. Later in the day, on day one, Trevor catches a play. I'm like, okay. I said, oh, well, you'll get him. I was joking with him uh, earlier on day one. I said, oh, you'll get him tomorrow, buddy. Kind of, you know, the, give him some confidence. And the next thing I know, it's day two, and I'm sitting there the first 30 minutes of an hour, and we got a boat full of them, and I haven't set the hook yet. I'm kind of like, well, anyways, it, it turned real tough on us during the day. And, you know, we had about seven hours to catch one bass. One 15-inch bass is all we we're lacking. And, you know, we was like, oh, we'll get this, we'll get this. And then an hour goes by, and it's like, uh-oh. And then it keeps going, it keeps going. And I'm like, oh, boy. You know, it's kind of like this is, this is getting pretty serious. And the next thing I know, we got like 30 minutes left and we still got four and I haven't put a fish in the boat yet. So I'm like, well, we better get something done. And luckily we jumped, uh, we helped a, a, an angler uh, jump his starting battery. And next thing I know, we had like 10 minutes left. Second cast on our spot we pulled up to and, and we caught that. It wasn't a giant fish by any means, it was about two and a half pounds. And it, like, like Trevor said, it probably jumped us from about 25th up to about to, to our finish in ninth place. So it was, it was more satisfying than anything. Um, coming in with a full limit always means something in a tournament, uh, tournament this big. Sticking with you, Blake, did you – you talked to me last week about being a thinker. Were you starting to say – question in that final 30 minutes, maybe we got to pick a different spot, maybe we got to do this or do that. Were you second-guessing at any point? Oh, definitely, 100%. Uh, we had one area where we called them both mornings. Um, we, that's what we called them this morning, and – it was uh, it was bright uh, bluebird skies down here, so the sun came up real quick, and that kind of hurt our bite um, compared to yesterday. And I, you know, we had four, and we were fishing real, real confident. We knew we'd get you know one more, two more throughout the day, like we did the day before. But it was kind of one of those things. The time kept going by and by, and we still had four in our box. And and uh, as it got closer and closer, we were running through different spots, no one knowing where fish were. We just couldn't get them to bite. It was a tougher day on us, but, but yeah, it definitely played mind games with me. It was about noon. I kind of looked at Trevor and I was like, "We got to get a fish in the boat. Like this is this is this can't be happening to us right now." You know, and with school of the year, we knew they were going to catch them today, and we knew if we could just get one more keeper uh, in the boat today, we'd done our part, staying in that top twenty for sure. And uh, we're just needing our other boat to catch them good, and, and we can't talk to them throughout the day, so. We really had no idea. So that was kind of putting more pressure on us. It was like, you know, if we fell short and we only had – we were one short of a limit, you know, that would just come come back and just haunt us. Uh, throughout this whole year, you know, you were just kind of 365 days and you were one bash short. So that kind of kept playing uh, games with our minds. But all in all, we got it done. You know, I'd like to catch it maybe a little earlier than five minutes before we had to come in. But, hey, whatever works. So. Trevor, was there high drama then in the weigh-in? Did I mean when did you guys actually know? Um, honestly, when we caught that fish, we had a very good idea that we won school of the year. Uh, and the excitement 
me and Blake were jumping around like two little girls in the boat. We were so excited. The motion was rolling. Uh, we were still excited. I mean, we were still shaking over it. And uh, it was just awesome to go way in. And then we got to the way in and our other boat come in and they had 15 pounds as well. Uh, so we really blew school of the year out of the water. We won by almost a thousand points, uh, which is just huge. I mean, uh, most tournaments are worth 500 points. So we won by a thousand and that's just a huge margin. And uh, like Blake said, once we caught that fish, it was just so satisfying. We, we pretty much knew we had school of the year wrapped up. And uh, all we had to do was go weigh them. So we went and weighed them, and uh, it was awesome. So I'll ask you both the final same question. Uh, I'll, I'll stick with, uh, with you, Trevor. Both of you take a look at the trophy. You mentioned being like little schoolgirls in the boat but when you, when you caught the fish. But when you look at that trophy, I mean, I guess for going through the year, having, what, three months and not being able to fish and – how do you sum it all up when you look at it right now? Start with you, Trevor. Uh, just a lot of emotions go through looking at this trophy. I mean, like we said, this is 365 days of hard work. Uh, we probably fished 30 tournaments to win this trophy. And it's just all that hard work goes into uh, this trophy, really. And it, it says a lot about our team. Uh, it says a lot about me and Blake. Uh, and, and in this sport, the way this works, you have to catch them every single tournament. I mean, we fished, like I said, 30 tournaments, and there wasn't a single tournament where we didn't have a have a boat up there in the top. So, uh, I mean, it's one full whole year of all these tournaments wrapped up into one little trophy. So, it's just awesome. It's something that we're always going to be able to look back at. Uh, all the guys on the team, our coaches, our school, uh, this trophy is going to represent a lot of memories, and it's going to be something that we can look back at in 20 years and think, man, we had a good year. Boy. Yeah, you know, like Trevor said, uh, the biggest thing is people don't realize how much time and effort goes into tournament fishing. Uh, it's like, you know, we're down here for one tournament uh, out of our, probably our 30 that we fished this year. And, you know, it's, it's been a week, it's been a week, week and a half of work, you know, prep, getting ready for it, and then, then coming down here. And the biggest thing is with, with tournament fishing, um, for the school year title, um, one bad tournament and you're done. Um, there's there's too many guys out there that can catch fish and too many too many other clubs out there that are that are great fishermen and you know it, it can be a, a tournament all the way from Texas I mean if they stretch from Texas Florida all the way up to New York some years so you've got to be really on your game um, and McKendry we've got a great program and a great uh, great coach and a great great anglers that come here you know we we've got guys that come in from all over and that really gives us an edge. Um, you know, when, when we do make our northern swing um, later this year, we're going to have some guys that are up that way. Um, and, and there's just so much that goes into it. There's so many different variables that can go in the wrong. Um, and for it to happen, you know, not once but twice now to win school of the year, it just don't want everything together. I mean, the trophy means much more than what a lot of people are going to think um, just because – it's, it's, it's not just winning one tournament or, or like a basketball tournament. It's not winning the holiday tournament. This is a whole year deal, and there's just no room for error. And, we, you know, it's been unbelievable. We've been able to do it for two years. So there's nothing, nothing we can really say, but just, you know, we hope to do it again someday. 206 boats. Again, is it kind of hitchy yet? Because that's, that's a big group. That's a, that's a, busy, that's a busy lake. Yeah, no, we, there's a – College fishing and high school fishing has, has come to grow over the last five years. It's just grown tremendously. I mean, uh, you look, there's probably a thousand college teams in the country. And uh, like you said, there's 206 boats, probably from 30 or 40 different states this week. Uh, so to say that we were the number one school uh, being from Illinois, uh, honestly, in Illinois, we don't have a lot of types of bodies of water that we go to. Like Pickwick Lake, uh, it's a river system, so that's current. And, like, when we fish in Illinois, we fish, like, Wren Lake, uh, Lake of Egypt. It's just totally different. So, to say that we're from Illinois and we travel the country to bodies of water that we have very little experience on and, and brought home this trophy to our state, uh, it, it's really incredible to think about. I got to ask, how do you celebrate? Knowing you two, you'll probably be going fishing pretty soon. Uh, we're fishing a tournament Saturday on King K. <laughs> we're going to go That's home, easy. get some sleep. And uh, the team, we're all going out and eating some dinner tonight. And we're going we're gonna to enjoy it. But uh, 
it starts right back up July 1st. So we got to get ready and uh, get prepared for the next season.